Hey guys, hope we're having a great day as well as a great life. Long has man sat mystified, circled around a fire, telling stories once forgotten, some true, some not true. And here we are, hearing some James Taylor and some motherfucking Doobie Brothers, and I feel just <laughs> as excited as all those other prior men. Yeah, I definitely not know they did a song together. It's pretty. No, I didn't it's either. Pretty, it's pretty saucy. It's pretty saucy. Uh, I mean, this butter can good, dude. I feel like this is going to be one of the best things we've heard since sliced bread. I think it's going to be great, and this is also from uh, a poll regarding it. Definitely won yeah. a pretty hefty amount, basically as a, a bass-driven banger. Ooh, ah, I wasn't even considering that as an option. Dope. Yeah, yeah dope. Fun, right? Lyrics on the screen, as always. Really good. Damn. Damn, that is the opposite of who produced Metallica. Yeah? Oh, you don't, I don't know these things, dude. Good. They'll get it, probably. Metallica has, like, no bass. They have, like... Oh. It, they, they, like, turn the bass down so low that it's basically not there. And this, the guitar was, like, way disparaged, which yeah. I thought was so cool. Very ballsy. <clears throat> Almost yeah. too much bass, which I've never said. Yeah. There were some points where I was like, 
boom, and it like hit. And I was like, oh, that's a lot, but I love the sound. Yeah, it's so driving. I thought it was very interesting. Yeah, interesting, very interesting. What I loved it when he called it like towards the end where he did the boom, 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 like yeah. Thing. I thought that was super yeah. Sick. It was just a lot of really tasteful stuff. I mean, when you put bass that forward, uh, the tone has to be right, and the tone was right. The playing had to be right. The timing had to be right. Everything checked all the boxes. Uh, I loved the gospely soul elements of this, especially at the end, mm, as you hear the yeah. ripping organ. Like by far, to me, that's my favorite part of the whole song. I love the groove. Like there was no part of this I didn't like. Uh, I also liked the uh, like the motif and like the idea behind not the motif, but yeah, I loved the lyrics of the song and like the message behind yeah. it. Which I assume is like, or from my listening, was him talking to the streets mm -hmm. and him being like, I'm your brother. Like, I, I mm -hmm. grew up here. You might not know me. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to get what he meant. And then I'm like, oh, you can find my brothers. They're all, you ask anybody who lives in a big city. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know, the promises that they should have been gotten and the way they should be treated hasn't really happened. Yeah. And so, I, I don't know. It, it felt like this kind of unification or just at least highlight of like yeah city living can suck for a lot of the people mm -hmm. below the poverty line mm -hmm. and um yeah i don't know just thought thought it was awesome thought yeah was awesome. I, I thought the message was really cool i liked all the individual elements i wasn't huge on the song at first yeah but like the once it, like there was the two sections where it just got into like this crazy breakdown region where it just yeah. was so saucy and i loved it a shit ton yeah i felt a little bit weird with the way that it combined everything because this did not feel like a doobie brother if you would have shown me this song i would not have said doobie brothers yeah or james, or james i would James. not have picked yeah. either one and yeah. so i i'd like to listen to it more honestly without considering them as having written it yeah i wonder what year this came out 76 so interesting it's a really good song i mean the chorus is pretty banging the uh i mean vocally is killing it like really really great vocals bass obviously killing it yeah the drums i love the little hand drum stuff auxiliary mm. percussion mm -hmm. the guitar was perfect you know, even though it's tucked in the mix, kind of on the left side, just like noodling around a bit, doing some like chordal stuff. Uh, yeah, spect spectacular song. I'm yeah. trying to think in terms of the Doobie Brothers catalog. I mean, we've heard a lot less James Taylor, right? Substantially less. Substantially less. But I mean, I don't think I'm going out on a limb saying this isn't like the best from either one of them. But it, I don't think it was meant to be. I'm yeah. trying to meet the song where it was at. Which is probably they probably saw an amount of like, hey, we want to speak on something a little bit, and also make a catchy song, create cool energy behind it. Yeah, there, it also strikes me almost like they're taking from like those communities, like some some Motown, some R and B, and like they're getting influenced by those styles of music, and maybe even looking at where those styles of music originated, and almost like trying to speak on that. I don't know, maybe I'm thinking too far on it. But I think mm -hmm. it's pretty. I think the culmination of everything is really cool. Mm -hmm. Like I think they did a really good job at encompassing the sound that is not typically their sound. It sounded I mean, they took me to That's church true. a little bit, especially at the I end. Can see that rating? I guess. Yeah, you ready? Yeah, three, two, one, A. a. It's a safe bet. Yeah, I mean, I really liked it. And again, the, I think the breakdown regions were super sick. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing that is gonna that like wanted me to like just add it to my playlist and play it all the time necessarily yeah i feel like a plus is a little bit like that a plus is too high a plus because this you know? is like it doesn't feel like it's trying to be that either yeah i there's there's songs that do this style like in a way that you're like ooh, this is unforgettable mm -hmm. and um not that this is forgettable this but song was like sizzling and it's sauce yeah this but is it's like, not like defining the sauce yeah it's not know? defining the sauce this is this but is a really great good, really a great though. great breakfast it's like no one's ever been like, oh, my God, this one time I had the best meal of my life. It was eggs. Right? <laughs> but if you have a great breakfast, you're like, ooh, this hit the spot. You're a little hungover. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're in, I don't know, let's say Mobile, Alabama. <laughs> you're in Mobile, Alabama. Place? Mobile, yes. In oh, fact, that's crazy. I've been hungover in Mobile, Alabama. This is really? where the story comes from. Yeah. Uh, you know, you're hearing this and you go to a Waffle House a little too early in the morning that you'd like to, but it's too late in the morning for anybody else to think it's too early in the morning. Mm -hmm. And you're there having some shitty diner eggs with a lady with a bunch of hair colors in colors in her hair, and I you can't see pretty good. You can't see very many of the colors because you're Alex. Yeah, the song would hit then. I think Waffle House has pretty good eggs. I think they. have. What was the descriptor you used? Because they're not bad, dude. They're not bad. 
What's that Theo Vaughn thing? Dude, the thing is, they got a tub of lard right there, and there's no way you're making bad eggs with a tub of lard right there. (laughs) That's true. They're banging, dude. That's true. That's true. Come on. Yeah, it's good. Waffle House is good. I actually think their marketing is incredible. I've been getting Waffle House ads. This is off the rails. But if you stay this long, you come for us. Uh, I've been getting these Waffle House ads all the time. And the Waffle House Instagram dude is fucking fire. Oh, really? They're like, it's, it's not... It's not a Waffle House, it's a Waffle Home is like their big slogan. It's so cute. And they've got all this Waffle House branded merch that honestly looks lit. Like, honestly looks lit. Whoever is doing their marketing team campaign, check out the Waffle House Instagram. This is not sponsored, but it's incredible. All I can think of is when we were on the comedy cruise and I was in, um, I forget if you were there or not. I was in the elevator with this, you know, hefty set gentleman. (laughs) And I looked down, he's wearing these terrible shorts and then oh, like, I was he, there and he had some like uh these like slides and he yeah, said, yeah. Like, like waffle house yeah and someone said something about him he goes oh yeah got him at a walmart i was like that's exactly <laughs> where you get those <laughs> in fact so the funny. gentleman who said that was me when i was like i like those slides oh and he's yeah, like, yeah oh got him at walmart it's like <laughs> that's so funny yeah, that's pretty cool uh, all right yeah that's it dear brothers james taylor appreciate your contribution to music today go to waffle house support yeah. well now you guys go wherever you want have yeah. some eggs yeah. peace We'll be right back.